Wow! Hey guys, Evan here. Hope you all have a wonderful day today. So guys, I'm here today to show you me doing the Arms and Fury Burst on Legion Alpha. I'm going to show you guys what I do and hopefully maybe you can have your own opinions on whether you think this is the most optimal burst or things you might actually think that I could change. I'm going to show you the specs I use as well as the iron talents I use and all that good stuff. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to show you a clip of me actually using the burst in an arena against Swifty and after that I'm going to show you exactly how I did it with both specs and then we're going to go through it. We're going to start with Fury. So here's the first clip. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, I think Fury wins it. <laughs> no! Dude, hey, let me see that. Okay, so the way the Fury Burst works is you're going to have huge talents to increase your damage. The first one being Farting Berserker. Now the way this one works is when you have 100 rage you'll also gain 10% increased damage and movement speed but don't worry about that too much the damage is more main thing 10% more damage then you're gonna have avatar for another 20% more damage equal 30% and you're gonna have dragon roar for another 20% more damage which is gonna give you 50% more damage plus the actual damage you get from dragon roar which is about 100k then you're gonna to wanna to have talents to help your rage like inner rage which basically makes rage of Rage twice as hard and gives it a 4.5 second cooldown but it also generates 5 rage instead of taking rage and then this rage from your R attacks to give you more rage you can also spec for rage for battle or rage machine to give yourself more rage but the main talent you're going to want to focus on here is slaughterhouse and the reason you want slaughterhouse is because for every 10% health the target's missing you're going to reduce the cooldown of bloodthirst by 1 second and this whole burst is going to be based around bloodthirst in a second and which I'll show you and the reason being is because every time you hit Bloodthirst, it's going to increase the damage of Bloodthirst by an extra 10%. Now, obviously you would think maybe that will go up to 200% if you kept hitting it, but it actually doesn't. I think it's capped out on 50%. And basically, you're going to use Bloodthirst 4 or 5 times to start this, get them down to about 1.5, like I said. Then we're going to get our Trinket proc, Charge, Pop Cooldowns, Bloodthirst, Odin's Fury, Bloodthirst, Bloodthirst. That's pretty much it. That's the, that's the burst rotation. Okay, so we got a trinket and we've also got tag on the right health. Put a charge in, pop cooldowns, bloodthirst, Odin Fury, bloodthirst, bloodthirst. And that's pretty much the burst, guys. It's pretty much it. It's it's pretty simple, it's not too complex. But you kill the target in about 5 seconds, which is actually quite nice, I think. A big burst of this damage is the second and third bloodthirst and as well as the Odin Fury. Now you could also go for fresh meat to make the first bloodthirst have a 30% increased critical strike chance of 80% health but honestly I don't think it really matters too much and at the end of the day it's all good. So the burst works right and it's quite nice. Okay so guys next I'm going to show you the iron burst again on Swifty in the arena and I'm going to tell you how I did it afterwards but here's the clip and hope you enjoy. Proc right. drink it. He's ready? Alright. Wow! Wow! There we go, that's it. Dang, dude, that was a lot, man. You gotta see how you did that. How do you do the magic that you do? Let me rewatch that. Replay, replay. Okay, so guys, for the arms burst, you want to want a few things. First up, you're going to have Avatar for that 20% increased damage. Next up, you're going to, going to have Focus Rage, which basically, when 3 stacks of it, it doubles the damage of more Strikes. So that's 100% more damage. Then you're going to have Opportunity Strikes, which does have a 60% chance of proccing a, like say, 60k damage, which is actually pretty good. It actually hits almost like half a more Strike, so it's pretty good like that. Then you're going to want to have Death Row. And you just want death rolls because you want to be executed as soon as possible. 25% health is needed. Then you're going to have Rage Machine or Rage for Battle if you want that extra rage. If you have to spec for Spell Reflection, you can obviously go for Dauntless, like I said, to help yourself with the rage problem. But it's not too bad, honestly. Next, you're going to have 
Shadowy Colossus. And the reason why they have this is because it resets the cooldown of Colossus Smash when you charge. Sometimes you might not have Colossus Smash up, and when you charge, you want to be able to burst as soon as possible. So you might have Colossus Smash ready after the charge, and then you're ready to go. The next thing you want to have Sharp Blade. Now, this is the main important talent. And the one you want to have this is because increase the damage of Mortal Strike by 50%. Don't forget about the healing thing, just 50% more strike damage, which is awesome. So we're up to 150% damage, which is pretty awesome. And then we're going to want to have the, obviously, if you haven't gotten it yet, when you're going for your talents, you're going to want to go up here to shard defenses. When you use Cost of Smash, it also increases the critical strike damage of more strike. The next one you're going to have is precise strikes. You want to have this because obviously reduced rage cost is obviously a good thing when you're getting some burst in. The next one going to be is you're going to want to have Corrupted Blood of Zakias, which is obviously going to give you 20% more damage when you activate Battle Cry. So that's like where we up to 170% now. Next one you're going to have is Focus and Battle, give you a cost to smash 25% more damage. And then finally you're going to want to have Death Blow, give you 50% increased critical strike chance on Execute. Now when this tile comes into play, Thoradin's Might, which probably will later on, 15% more damage will probably put us up to 185% damage on more strike. But right now it's 170%. Probably gonna nerf it, I don't know. But I don't feel like the damage needs to be nerfed because have you guys look at my health bar? You can actually see me when I'm stacking this. I've got like three stacks. I like to call these Super Saiyan 1, Super Saiyan 2, and Super Saiyan 3. Uh, you can see I'm stacking them so you know when the burst is about to come. Now I'm gonna charge here. And I'm going to get my sharpened blade, pop cooldowns. Alright, so we got a trigger proc. Now I'm going to pop sharpened blade, pop cooldowns, cross a smash, more strike, execute. And that's pretty much the arms burst. It's pretty simple, it's pretty easy, but at the same time, it requires you to have that exact setup for it to work. But I'll show you quickly the macro I used for arms. Basically, the macro is Battlecry, Avatar, Warbreaker, and Sharpened Blade. Obviously, Battlecry reckons this. Avatar, Warbreaker is your actual ability that you have, which allows you to get a cluster smash on the target. It doesn't do too much damage. It's like the Dragon Roar thing, really. Uh, but it does apply to cluster smash debuff, so when you hit cluster smash, you're also going to get an extra more damage on this cluster smash, which allows you to do the one shot in the first place. So, guys, that's pretty much the Arms and Fury Burst. I know it was probably a bit long, but... I need to go into a bit more detail to show you guys what I'm doing and all that good stuff. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the video a like and a comment will be awesome on your thoughts as well. And as always guys, this is Evan out. I love you all. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next one.